Occasionally when I put out videos concerning Anthony Joshua, I'll get someone in the comments saying, I'm a hater, I'm a Fury fanboy, I treat Anthony Joshua differently, I, you know, I treat him to a higher standard or whatever and I give him too much criticism. I don't necessarily see that, my own opinion is that I try and be fair with what I see and it is what it is, but at the end of the day, I don't pick information out of the air or make it up or anything like that, I just take information that's out there and I put my own spin on it, I, I put my narrative on it and give my opinion on it, that's kind of what it is. And the reason why I say that is because Anthony Joshua has basically given another interview last night and he's given me another reason to question him, his mentality, his intentions moving forward, bit of everything really. And before I get into it, right, I just want to ask you guys, I've got three questions for you guys. First question is, have you seen the interview that I'm talking about with Anthony Joshua, Radio Raheem, where he's talking about Deontay Wilder and the potential world title fight and he's saying if he had the choice between the Wilder fight or a world title fight, he'd prefer a world title. He didn't say he wouldn't fight Deontay Wilder, but he did say given the choice, he would go for a world title. So have you guys seen that interview? That's one. Number two is, have you guys seen the interview, Eddie Hearn, I think it was on Fight Hype and it was during like Devin Haney fight week, but they only put it out a couple days ago. And he was basically saying that if they both win, they're going to be fighting each other, this, that and the other. And then later on in the interview, he went on to basically say that he secretly hopes that Deontay Wilder gets knocked out by Joseph Parker or Joseph Parker beats Deontay Wilder. So have you seen that interview? So if the answers are yes to the first question and yes to the second question, my third question to you is, do you believe Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn have any intentions of fighting Deontay Wilder? And if so, please let me know how you come to that conclusion. Because you've got Eddie Hearn saying that he's secretly hoping that Deontay Wilder loses, even if it means him losing the big money payday or his commission or whatever as a promoter. You've got Anthony Joshua saying that he would rather have a title over a name, but at the same time, he just passed on the opportunity to have both a name and a title shot when he didn't negotiate the fight with Tyson Fury. Now, people are going to be like, oh, Tyson Fury wasn't serious. Let's, let's, let's get past that. This is beyond that. Tyson Fury signed the Alexander Usyk fight. Tyson Fury is now with the Saudis. Tyson Fury is looking to fight people. You can't on one hand say Anthony Joshua would have fought Tyson Fury, but then at the same time, look at what's going on with this whole Deontay Wilder situation and say, oh yeah, Anthony Joshua doesn't avoid anyone, he fights all comers, isn't scared of a challenge. Well, if he wasn't scared of a challenge, why didn't he fight Tyson Fury? Oh, because they were going to do the Deontay Wilder fight in December. Well, it's now December, there's no Deontay Wilder fight. And while we're here, like, waiting for this Saudi mega card on Saturday and half anticipating, like, an announcement for Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua, should they both win and get through their prospective fights, you got Anthony Joshua saying that he would prefer a world title shot over Deontay Wilder. Well, guess what? The way the landscape is looking, it's looking like, Anthony Joshua, if he decides not to fight Deontay Wilder, he can get a world title shot with Philip Hergovich, providing he beats Otto Wallin on Saturday. So he's going to be at a crossroads on Saturday. If he beats Otto Wallin, it's looking like he's going to have a choice between Deontay Wilder and an IBF world title shot. And going off what he's been saying and what his promoter has been saying, I just struggle to see how he's going to turn around and say, I'll take the Deontay Wilder fight. I think the only saving grace for that potential fight there, and AJ sort of maybe being forced into it, is that the winner of Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury won't be stripped until the day after the fight. So they can't make the Philip Hergridge fight with Anthony Joshua until, I don't know, February 18th, hypothetically anyway. Like, they couldn't make that fight prior to that date because the belt won't be vacant. But they won't make it exactly on the 18th. They're probably looking at, like, I don't know, April, May or whatever for that fight. So that leaves a little window where Anthony Joshua could fight again. But if he wanted to fight Wilder, they could probably do it. They could even make it as a final eliminator for the WBC. And at that point, Anthony Joshua have a choice between fighting Tyson Fury or Alexander Usyk for the WBC strap and whatever comes with it, or fighting Philip Hergridge for a vacant one. But I suspect that's not going to happen. I, honestly, all the indicators to me are kind of suggesting that they're looking at the IBF and the IBF only. Radio Rahim asked um, Deontay Wilder about the situation. He's basically saying that he would rather fight Anthony Joshua than go for a world title again. He admits that he does want a world title or whatever, but he can always win that. The Anthony Joshua fight's only going to be there for a limited amount of time, and he would prefer the legacy over the belt. But I suppose legacy comes with the belt, because if you hear the Anthony Joshua interview, he's basically saying that in 20 years' time, he would rather be referred to as three-time heavyweight champion of the world than two-time heavyweight champion of the world. And at that point, people aren't going to talk about who he fought and who he didn't fight. They're just going to talk about the title of him being three-time heavyweight champion of the world. So he's got his uh, ego hat on and he's thinking long-term. And if he is thinking long-term, then you have to kind of assume that he's not thinking about Deontay Wilder next because if he has that fight and loses that fight, in my opinion, that's career over. Like, he's out of runway. 
So yeah, I'm still leaning to the fact that Deontay Wilder fight won't happen. It's a little bit worrying because pretty much everyone, like Frank Warren's even saying that fight's next. The guy they call his excellency, like he wants that fight. Everyone, the fans won that fight. And it seems like the only people that aren't talking extremely positive about that fight happening are Anthony Joshua and Eddie Hearn. And it's not like I'm just trying to make things up or whatever. The interview's out there. You guys check it out. As I say, if you come to a different conclusion after seeing what they've said about the fight, then by all means, let me know in the comment section below as always. That's all I got for this one, guys. It's not looking good for a potential Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder fight because Anthony Joshua is openly admitting that given the choice between a Deontay Wilder fight and the world title, he would choose a world title over the Deontay Wilder fight. And as things stand, it's looking like that's going to be the scenario that opens up once these fights happen in the next couple of months. So I'm not too positive on that fight happening, but I've been wrong before and hopefully I'm wrong again for this one. That's all I got for this one, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.